Hello YouTube, um, doing this video today, got a little bit of free time, so I thought that it was important that I would just go ahead and do a video so that I had some spare time. I don't uh, have my notes on me right now, however, I'm at the park with my kids, about to get out the car or whatever, um, they're older. But anyways, I'm doing this video tonight, or today, um, on like uh, how people try to set you up. It's been a lot of stories that I've seen and I've heard where um, people try to set people up, people was double crossing and stuff like that. So I don't know about any body situation, but actually I do know a few examples where people were like set up or made look a certain type of way. So, but um, I'm just gonna tell y'all two stories of mine. So one time I worked at this place or whatever and I worked there and this particular person, they used to get hurt all the time. Every time I turned around, that person was getting hurt to the point where people really didn't want to work around them and stuff like that. So as time went on or whatever, I noticed that I was the one being scheduled with the person. Uh, the person, they, they could just walk and fall over their feet. And, uh, you know, every time I turned around, like I said, they were accident prone and they were getting hurt. So uh, next thing I know... Uh, um, uh, a relative gets involved like why my people keep getting hurt all the time and I couldn't understand for the love of God either I used to even talk to God about it like God why every time I turn around this person is getting hurt you know and I'm somewhere in the vicinity or whatever so um, it started getting to the point where they felt like since I was around all the time you know what I'm saying and it, it really it really bothered me because I didn't understand. So one day, it was like God spoke to me and said, do some some research on, on this situation. You know what I'm saying? Don't just take an L like that and you know it's not you. So I listened. Uh, I grabbed a notebook. It was a notebook about this thick. I grabbed a notebook, and it had a whole bunch of documentation in it. And the documentation state, stated that, how many times um, that particular person had been, in, uh, you know, in afflicted. How many times they had got hurt. It had been numerous times before I even walked into the establishment or anything. Then I find out that this person, they uh, had to get surgery on their feet. They had, um, I think, clubbed feet is what they were called, and they had to get surgery on them. And that's why they were getting hurt all the time, uh, bumping their head and different things like that. It got to the point where I started sitting right beside the person just to make sure that whenever they got ready to get up unexpectedly or whatever, I was there. Um, but like I was saying, it, I was so shocked to see this thick notebook of documentation um, from other people that had worked with that person. Document, 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 because that's what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to document when something happened. So... With that being said, I found out that I was the scapegoat person that they were trying to use. Since this particular person was so accident prone and something was always happening, they needed a way to explain it other than what it really was, and they tried to use me. But uh, after I seen that, you know what I'm saying, it helped me realize everything that I needed to know. You know, God led me to the answers that I needed to be able to know what was really up, and it, it just made me feel great. So I've seen what the enemy was trying to do. All right, other situation. I was working at another job, and um, to be honest with you, I won a lawsuit from that job because they were so uh, treacherous. But anyways, so uh, so I'm working there or whatever, and I'm handling a, a certain thing that's you know on the machines or whatever. Um, you know what I'm saying? It was a it, it was a very hard job for one. So, um, I wasn't doing a particular job at first, and then all of a sudden, because of the particular problems that they had, which I'm not going to go into, they, oh, um, they gave me the job of putting the hoses up. So, I'm handling my job. I'm doing it like nobody's never did it before. So, when the machine goes down the line, those hoses were not put on right. So... I continuously was getting uh, write-ups all of a sudden because of the hoses and, and things like that. God spoke to me once again and said, do your homework, do research. So that's what I did. Not only that, 
a particular person. Okay, I was getting write-ups for the hoses or whatever, but the person that were over the write-ups looked at them and, and took them all off. And one day I went on there, I'm like, why are my, why are my write-ups gone? He said, look, I'm a fair person, and if I took something off, it's because you wasn't supposed to receive it in the first place. So um, so I, I actually spoke to him, and I told him, like, I don't understand this stuff. Then he was like, um, those hoses had problems for years, long before you got here. They keep ordering them from different companies, but they're defective, and they don't fit our machines. So once again, they had this problem years before I even came. But when I came, because I was quiet, because I was humble, and because I didn't do everything everybody else did that made me them want to treat me as a scapegoat to to you know what i'm saying be the fall girl but luckily god gave me a way to figure out that it wasn't me so like i said i figured out and found out that those hoses had been defective for years and i actually brought that up when i brought it up they looked like they'd seen a ghost because i wasn't supposed to know that but god sent me an angel to let me know that the particular person that told me was over the write-ups that i was given they were supposed to go along it was supposed to go along get along game they were supposed to go along with them. I'm sure by now, since I don't work there anymore, they were educated how to handle that situation, which would stick together even when you're wrong, especially being that I won a lawsuit. And um, and uh, not only that, I'm only 5'2". They had another girl doing it before me, and she complained about it. So they took it from her job description to give it to me. I went up to her and I asked her, I said, um, uh, she was acting like she could do it. She was acting like she could do it once they took me off. And I'm like, I'm, I'm more athletic. I know I got it. She was not able to do it. She was not able to do it. And uh, she flipped out. And she told me before she was doing the hoses, but uh, she was doing the hoses, but uh, she was too short. So as a result, she was taken off. Okay, this girl was 5'4", and she was too short to handle the hoses. So God told me, if you're 5'2", and she's 5'4", she's and she's too short, then why are you in that position? And it was a man's position. So that was the, the enemy's way of getting me out of the door because of who I was and what I stood up for. Whenever you stand against the grain and you don't practice what's wrong, that's what people do. They start trying to throw little snares and traps in your way. But God will always give you a one-up. Uh, um... You know, I've had people try to sabotage me plenty of times, but it never worked. So that says a lot about God and, and what he does. That says a lot about Jesus and who he is. You know, those are just two big, irate situations, how people will try to take you over. And then not just that, you know what I'm saying? That's the way that I took care of my family. And there are other, there are very good establishments out there. I've worked. You know, a, a lot of good places. But fortunately, I try to look for a better elevation. I'm, I'm always looking for a better opportunity to, to get in and, and to be in. And really, you know, I don't want to work in, in with nobody or um, be in any position where, you know, I got to be part of a get along, uh, go along, get along gang in order to accomplish my dreams, my goal, or, or for my success to be seen or my talent. So I'm going to let y'all go. Um, you know, it happens to the best of us. I'm not doing no pity party, but I'm just letting you know that how they try to set me up and how God showed me that uh, he won't go and allow it to happen. And I, and I voiced it, and they left me alone and went somewhere else. So love y'all. Have a good one.